I just showed you a couple of the basic strokes you can achieve with some materials and now I'm going to take over to the wall and sort of identify some of those strokes as they apply to an actual mural. Once I've got my sky blocked in, I start with the next farthest thing which will be the mountain range way in the background. Now for this, sometimes if I'm feeling ambitious, I'll actually mask off with tape the shape of the mountain range and then paint in. Uh, if I'm feeling lazy, which is usually the case, I'll just go straight in with my sponge using the corner and block in the mountain range from there. You'll notice that the color is actually darker at the top than it is at the bottom. This is called atmospheric perspective. That means as you get closer to the ground, you've got more dust particles, more atmosphere between you and the object, and that creates this haze that you see. So that is key in creating depth in the picture plane. In this case, it was a, a golden sort of ochre color. And just pick out a few spots that are going to be highlighted. That'll really sort of give the mountain dimension. Again, you always want to work as fast as you can because this does dry awfully quickly. The smaller details like the, the vineyard and the trees, these can be done with your sea sponge, dabbing, the fan brush, or your cellulose sponge. I favor the fan brush, but that's just me.